Hi everyone, John Paul Briones here from InMotion Hosting and thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Today I'm going to show you how to create custom error pages in cPanel. First thing I'm going to do is bring up an error page. So I'm going to bring up a 404 error by going to my site and accessing a page that doesn't exist. So I'm just going to go test not uh, 8. And you'll see I get the standard error 404 not found and this is just the standard server 404 error. Okay. And so if you want to change this to be maybe a customized message, you can do that in your cPanel. And so let's go ahead and log into the cPanel, and I'll show you where you can make that change. Okay, once you've logged into cPanel, go down to the advanced section and click error pages. When you do that, you'll see there's different errors here that you can click on to edit. If you're looking for other errors, you can click this tab, Show All HTTP Error Status Codes. And if you do that, you can actually look. There's a lot more errors there. Um, the most common ones are here, though. And so I'm going to go back here. And I'm just going to work with these for now. Um, you could click any of these, and it's up to you. But in my case, I would recommend, you know, if you really want to customize it, do all of them. But for my case, I'm just going to do the 404. And it's just because that's really a, a common error when they request and that's not missing. And just for an example as well. Okay, when you click the error that you want to edit, it will bring you here. And this is just an editing page. You can put HTML in here. In my case, I'm just going to add some basic tags. And I'm going to show you how to use these buttons up here. These will add the tags that will give you information. So, for example, if I click referring URL, it will put the tag in there. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to say, you came from, and this is just so you can see how these tags kind of work. So I'm going to say you came from and add your referring URL. And so in this line, when they see the error, it'll say you came from and it'll show their URL that they were referred, that they came from in order to get to this page. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is put a break in here, just a basic break. And of course, it's up to you how you want to do your HTML. This is just making a really basic page here. And then I'm just going to say, um, the URL you requested was, and then I'm going to add the requested URL link. And it's up to you. You can use the, all these codes if you want. In my full article, I, I do go over a quick summary of, of what they will do. And I show you an example of one where I used all of these, these uh, tags. OK, and so for, just for this case, I'm just going to put those two lines in there. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom and click Save. Okay, and you'll see it'll say the system saved the message. And it just tells you what domain and it shows you that it created that 404.shtml file. Okay, once you've created your own error message now, you're going to go back, um, go ahead and click the home. And this is going to take you back to the main cPanel. We're going to go to the HT access file. So in my case, let's go to file manager and I'm just going to go to the web root for this domain. And you'll see it'll bring me just to the main page, is public underscore HTML for my site. That's the document root. All right, once I click the HT access file, I'm going to click the code editor option up here. You're going to see some information. It's going to tell you which file you'll be editing. And just to confirm, you can change your encoding. But for this, I'm doing a standard file edit. So I'm just going to click edit. OK. And then now I'm going to put the, the line for that 404 error in here. It's in my full article. It's also below this video. If you want to look in the comments section, you can get the lines. That's the line for the 404 error. And, and that's just a standard. And what it will do is trigger your 404 error file when they generate a 404 error. And so I'm going to add that to my HT access file. If you wanted to, for example, add a 500 error file or something like that, and you, you created a custom 500 error, then you would also add another line um, kind of like this, just like that. This one's 404 and telling you where the 404 file is, and this one's a 500 telling you where the 500 file is. Okay, right now I'm just doing the 404, so I'm going to delete that. Go ahead and click Save. All right, after you save, let's go ahead and test. And I'm going to do that by actually bringing up a page that doesn't exist, which will trigger the 404 error. And I'm just going to go example.com slash test 10. 10. 
And you'll see when I go there, it generates the 404 and it shows me the error message that I just created. And once again, that is HTML, so you can customize it further if you want to edit the HTML and actually add additional tags or additional code to it to make it a more customized page. Uh, and, and in my case, I just want to show you how to actually get it to work. And as you see, it did use my new error message, error page that I created. Thank you for joining us for another video in our cPanel series. Feel free to like this video and comment below so we can bring you more great videos in the future. Do you know the InMotion Hosting Support Center has thousands of articles, pictures, and video tutorials to help you out with your web hosting questions? It's something for everyone, from beginners to experts. Join our community and sign up with your Facebook or Google Plus for free swag, prizes, and discounts. Visit our support center at InMotionHosting.com support.